Python is a very popular programming language, and we're happy to be able to support it in MakeCode for the microbit. We've made a number of changes to support three different programming languages in MakeCode. The first thing you'll notice is on the home page in the recent projects list, we denote the type of project file with an icon for blocks, JavaScript, or Python, based on the editor you were in when you exited the program. This helps in identifying which programming language you used for each project. We've also added language-specific versions up to each of our tutorials. Now when you add a new project, you'll also see some different options available for you. So the default option is projects where you can toggle between blocks, JavaScript, and Python. But we've heard feedback from many teachers that they do want a Python or JavaScript only option for their students. So they won't be able to toggle back and forth between blocks. So in this case, you'll see here that I can only write my program in, um, in Python. I don't have the option to go back to blocks. If I open up a project, you'll see the normal toggle, but one thing will be different is that we have two language options here. Uh, so I can edit my code in either um, JavaScript or, um, or Python. And again, we have this two-way editing, so any changes you make in blocks will be reflected in um, JavaScript or in Python. Now, there are a number of affordances we've added to support students who are just learning to program in text-based um, programming languages. So the first thing you'll notice here is um, what is called IntelliSense. So as I'm typing, you'll see these menus show up, which allow me to select from um, a number of different APIs or options. And this is helpful as a student if I'm just learning um, the syntax. The other thing we have is this toolbox that looks very familiar from blocks, but instead of blocks of code, you'll see that we actually have code snippets here with some um, additional descriptions about what, what the code does as well as the syntax of the code. And students can use this toolbox to explore the different uh, code APIs that are available, or they can also drag and drop um, these code snippets here into their programs. Um, and again, they can um, use IntelliSense to also explore the different options um, and values available. There's also error detection. So for example, say I forget um, some syntax. You'll see that we show you this red squiggly line here. And then when I hover my mouse over the error, you'll see um, what the error is expecting a colon here. Um, and then something that has come up is as I'm hovering my mouse over different lines of code, you'll see these tooltips pop up which show you uh, more information about the code. Um, and if I do want to get even more information, I can always right click on any line of code and select help to open up our um, reference documentation in this side panel here. And all of our um, help reference documentation is um, updated to display in both blocks, JavaScript, and Python.